Today in lecture, I am going to discuss about how to display list of employees who has same salary using Microsoft SQL Server. So here I am using go the table escort.emp and this is the record here. The column is there and now employee name. So let's do order by on sale. So here you can see 2, 1250, 1250. This is trade stamps and this has the salary of Ward and Martin. So I want to display only duplicate salary. So for this one, I already written this code. So if I run this code here, you can see 1250, 1250 is the salary of Ward Martin. 3000, 3000 is the salary of Escort and Ford. 1500, 1500 is the salary of Turner and Allen. So with the help of this query, we can display list of employees who has same salary. Okay, so let's understand this query. So here you can see escort.emp. So, so escort.emp is the table and is the alias. So with the help of alias, we can call these three columns. Employee name, E name, E salary. After that, I apply the condition on salary. So salary condition in. So in operator, and if I run this inner query, so this return here, this all. So here, with the help of this, so count a star. So first that select here, salary from employee group by, so making group on the salary. So this here, salary making on the group. So now you can see, or this place, 800, 950, 1100, 1250. So 1250, 1250, that's uh, making one group. And here 1500, 1500, that's making another group. And when that here make the group, so when that count a star greater than one. So here 1250, 12 and 1500, this count twice times. So two greater than one, that condition is true. So if that true, then so that here, this is displaying this all. So 1250, 1500, 3000. So this here counting more than one times. And rest are one time. So one time starts uh, here terminated by using this condition having count star greater than one. After that, this in. So this here 1250, 1500, 3000. This in. In operator that I'm using. And here this in. They so that here or uh, according to this cell, this or display here, EMP name, EMP number, and the salary. So if I run, here you can see. Okay, so this here in, and now you can see this all of trash stamp. So this here count trash stamp to greater than one. So this here to greater than one, so that this condition is true. So this all here, and after that, this all value that in. So 1250, that's for Ward, and here 1254, Martin, here is called 3000, 1500 for Turner, and this all. So this employee has the duplicate salary. And the same query we can achieve, same result we can achieve with uh, this query. So if I run, here you can see the same output that's displaying. So here, distincts that return only unique value. So one table that created alias two times E and A. So here that selected E name and sal. After that E salary and A salary must be same. That means uh, uh, here 1500 and uh, 1500 from E sal and A sal both same and name could not be same. Okay, so uh, this is the condition. So here if I run this Query. Okay, so this place here are two alias created A and E that's compared with E cell and A cell. So here 800 and this or uh, A cell both sadly that compare. So both here if that same there is no any problem and this here name could not be same. So here 800, 800 both are same. 
but here s myth name same here name same so this condition is false but when i go on 1250 1250 and 1250 is the here you can see side is the same but here one condition what next condition what in that's come so here or uh, both name are different so that when i run this query here you can see or uh, this here 1250 and uh, 1250 martin and ward so name not same so that it's a display but side is the same there is no any problem after that here or uh, this times using go uh, or uh, this so uh, here or uh, table hr dot implies so now if i run this query so if i run this query here you can see or uh, this here you can see so or uh, this times here this query i just written on the different tables hr dot implies so the same thing or table alias created here column selected id first name and salary then he salary that in and this here count so this all 122002400252500 this all are counting more than one times okay so that if i run here this query then you can see 2200 twice times so this means this count here more than one times so here 2200 has a cell is steven and has a so this now 240 twice times james and this one 25 is more than two times so here you can see three is the six times so six greater than one that condition is satisfied and uh, here so 2500 is the salary of this all employees okay so uh, with the help of this we can also calculate so this times here more than or two times that's so here six greater than one condition is true so when that condition is true then here salary that in this all that in and here this according to salary this selected employee id and the post name okay so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you